You might already know that the new update brought these creepy ghosts spawning in every map. Today I'll be showing you every ghost location and how to spawn them. First you should know there are two versions of the ghost, a blue one and a red one. Apparently the blue one spawns when you're alone, while the red one spawns when you're playing with others. But when I asked one of the developers for confirmation, he was in a silly goofy ah uh, mood. <sighs> the blue ghost is very slow and you will hear this sound when a blue ghost is spawning. However, the red ghost is much faster and you will hear this sound when it's spawning. So, how do you spawn them? Well, there's been a bunch of different theories like you need 5 people together or you need to touch specific things. But that's just not true at all. The ghosts spawn randomly. There is no specific triggers. You just have to sit and be patient. Alright, now let's start off with the forest map. The ghost, also known as Lucy, will spawn right here from her gravestone. After a few minutes of running around, she finally spawned completely harmless. She only lifts you up for a few seconds. Next up we have the canyon. Go to this exact location and wait patiently or just run around. It wasn't spawning for me so I wanted to cast a spell and it actually appeared. This one scared me so bad but my mic was off. Mountains. Lucy spawns on that platform over there. Don't worry if you can't make it up there, you don't need to. It spawns randomly just like the other ghosts. In the caves map, Lucy spawns right over here, but you can just run around and have fun while you wait. And finally, the city map. Lucy spawns in the competitive parkour area. Right over here you can find a skeleton with crystals that you can play with while you wait. This was recorded by someone from the Gorilla Attack Discord, and as you can see, because there are other monkeys around, the red one spawns. <laughs> 